Welcome to another edition of Hard Shout. My guest tonight broke the story of Steve Biko's murder. She broke the ANC in the Western Cape. And this week, she broke my heart. Helen Zilla, why did you take Mampela Rampela away from me? Deborah, the reason... Talk to the hand, Helen, because the face ain't listening. I understand that some people might be upset, Deborah. But... I don't care about some people. I care about me. <laughs> so, on Monday, Achang told its followers to ignore reports that Rampela was a DA candidate. On Tuesday, you announced this. So the first act of your presidential candidate is to lie to its former followers and then to flip-flip? Helen, do you think we deserve a flip-flopper as president? Deborah, I believe that the children are the future. I believe that if we should teach them well and let them lead the way, show us all the beauty they possess inside. That's a Whitney Houston song. Politics is a Whitney Houston song, Deborah. So you made this massive decision without consulting your voters or Hang's followers. In other words, you acted like a North Korean dictator. No, 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 I'm sorry. I must challenge that. I am nothing like a North Korean dictator, mainly because I don't like basketball. And I don't randomly feed people to dogs. I listen to all stakeholders, I canvass opinion, I workshop the problem with the caucus, and only then do I feed people to dogs? So, where does this leave Lindiwe Masabuko? Deborah, it leaves her in deep sh. <laughs> when you see Mampela, please give her this. It's me and Rampela having a picnic. Oh, that's sweet. Did your child draw this? I drew it, you judgmental cow. Back when I thought she cared. Yeah. <laughs> I think you need to up your meds. Get off my show, you shameless, home-wrecking hussy! <laughs>